We are here to give glory to God. You want to know why you're here? You're here to give glory to God. Why did God make me as an individual? Okay, God made me, Tommy McMurtry, to bring glory to Him. My purpose for being here is to bring glory to God. And guess what? That's the purpose for every person that's ever existed. Whether they acknowledge it or not, and listen to this, all right? And I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove this to you from the Bible. Everyone who is on this earth today, their purpose in life is to give glory to God. And you know what? They will give glory to God. And so there, there might be people thinking, nope, not me. I'm not going to live my life glorify God. I'm going to do what I want to do. No, you're going to give glory to God. Look what it says in Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 1. Whether you like it or not, you're going to give glory to God. Not just, you know, in the end when the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. On this earth, your life will be a life that gives glory to God. Look what it says in Leviticus chapter 10, verse 1. And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is that that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified them that come nigh me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. Notice how Nadab and Abihu, they disobeyed God. And after they, dis they disobey God, they're killed by God. And God says, I said, I will be sanctified. I will be glorified among these people. And he goes and he tells them, don't mourn for these guys. All right, don't do any of those things. These guys... They messed up big time. Verse 10, he says, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean. The purpose of a Levite, they were to show, they were to set the example. They were to put a difference between holy and unholy, between unclean and clean. That was their job. Okay? And when they failed to do that, when they disobeyed God, you know what? They still got glorified. Here's how. Because they got killed. And you know what it made everybody do? It made everybody say, I better obey God. It made Eliezer and Ithamar, when they came along, say, you know what? The words of God are right. When we offer this offering, we're going to do it the way the Lord said to do it because we remember what happened to our brothers, Nadab and Abihu. They got killed by these things. And do you realize, and I, I hate to be judgmental here, but I just allow me to just be a little judgmental right now. But you know what? When you go and you live a life of dr drugs and alcohol, you're going to glorify God with that. So how does that glorify God? When you look like a freak show, when you get meth mouth, when you're all tattooed up, when you're all scarred up, when you get in that drunk driving accident, you mangle your body up, when you get thrown into prison, when your life falls apart, when your marriage falls apart because of all those things, you're glorifying God in that because the rest of us are going to look at that and say, you know what? I'm going to obey God and I'm not going to do those things. So here's the question. How do you want to glorify God? Do you want to prove God right by being obedient and getting the blessings or by getting being disobedient and suffering the consequences? One way or the other, God's going to be glorified. <laughs>